This week, we start off with Jeff Johnston as he catches up with Justin Scribner, half of the Flight Camp Vintage Trailer Team, and gets caught up to date with what's been happening since our last visit a few years ago. Then, keeping with vintage RVs, Jeff and Pam take out a new Vintage Cruiser Retro Trailer for a full weekend review. Later, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 give us some tips for getting longer battery life in your RV. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. Regular viewers may remember that some years ago, we paid a visit to Flight Camp, a company in Bend, Oregon, that specializes in repair and restorations of vintage trailers. Well, we caught up with Justin Scribner, half of the Flight Camp crew, at the Rally on the River in Brownsville, Oregon. And Justin brought us up to speed a little bit on uh, what the company's been up to in the intervening years. Well, it's a darn shame that the good-looking half of this couple can't be here. Anna is elsewhere today. However, Justin, good to see you again. Nice to see you too. Thank you for having me. And uh, tell me, what's uh, what's been going on with Flight Camp? It's been a few years since we've been yep. out to visit you guys, and uh, we see your name everywhere, and we see your show. Uh, so what's happening yeah, with you guys busy, these days? Yeah, busy, 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 you know. Um, we, uh, we went from <laughs> visiting with you and being in a very small shop and, and doing some spec trailers and a few customer renovations to kind of being a, you know, a, a, a big name in vintage travel trailer uh, mm -hmm. restoration. And, you know, it wasn't something that I pushed for and intended, but it organically happened, which was great, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice to take something that you love and enjoy and have a passion for and turn it into your daily uh, living, which is awesome. Um, so Flight Camp has definitely expanded. We've moved shops at this point and we've grown and we've got some great craftsmen working down there, uh, just incredible workers. And, um, you know, in the interim as well, we've also uh, gotten the privilege to share it with the public through a television show called Flippin' RVs that we yeah. had on Travel Channel. Yeah, we've seen that. Look, yeah. they, they do a great job, as you guys do, of course. Yeah, well, I'm thank you there. very much. Yeah. Uh, One other thing that I wanted to mention, too, is about two years ago, um, we came up with uh, an idea to, to create an authentic vintage styled brand new travel trailer. Mm -hmm. We had seen a lot of repops out there and um, you know the craftsmanship we wanted to make sure was 100% in there and they were built just like they were in the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. So I decided to design my own my own trailer called the Neutron. So along with all of our restoration stuff that we do mm -hmm. and our museum pieces and the rarities um, we also do a, a brand new manufactured line called the Neutron okay. and the Neutron is a trailer that we make right there at the shop. So we have three to five restorations going and then typically we always have about three uh, Neutrons on the, on the line kind of coming off which is great. But the content is everything. Yeah. And yeah. you guys obviously have some content that is uh, um, it ranges from really cool to mind-blowing. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Speaking Thank you very of, much. Speaking of the mind-blowing aspect, uh, we can see this guy behind us. Yeah. Can you tell me just very briefly uh, sure. which one this is? Yeah, this is the Holiday House Geographic Model X, and this mm. was made by the Harry and David Company. Um, actually, it was made by Holiday House, mm. but it was the, the, Harry. the Harry and David Fruit okay. you know, Basket Company. Uh, this was a concept that David Holmes came up with, and. We've got one of two in fruition right here in wow. front of us, and it's, pretty, it's a pretty rare piece. So this trailer involved a lot more than we ever expected. Uh, we kind of thought that being a fiberglass shell, um, that it would be a little bit more preserved than wood, say, wood frame trailers, which we work with a lot of wood, wood inside trailers. But when we took the windows out on this one, the roof actually collapsed down on itself, which was pretty bad. Kind of scared everybody in the shop a little bit. Um, but in doing so, we decided to go ahead and structurally make it more sound, better than they did originally, and we doubled up on the, the strength on the sidewalls and also the thickness of the roof structure itself. At that point, we had an empty shell, and so we decided uh, on a floor plan, decided on a wood species, and went to town on it. 
So when we found the trailer, we didn't have anything to work off of on the inside. So I was referring back to black and white photos and stock photos of the one that went to Europe. And um, in that, we also were able to speak with the original designer, Chuck Pelly. Um, he was hired by David Holmes to come in and they set him up down in California to strictly develop this trailer. And he was invaluable in the process of redoing this. Um, so we were able to get his idea on what he really wanted it originally to look like. The other one that went to Europe, they were combining their original box design with this concept. And so some of the cabinetry didn't fit 100% like it should have, like his idea was. And so we got his idea on it and tried to kind of build the trailer that he originally wanted. The interior of this trailer is all black walnut. Um, the other one, they built all in teak. Now monetarily, right now, teak is a little prohibitive. And so we went ahead and did black walnut throughout it. And we did stainless steel countertops. We kept the original uh, footprint of the trailer, but we built the upper cabinets and some of the layout a little bit more usable than uh, what it was originally in the, uh, in the two that were finished. So we, uh, we kind of just improved a little bit on the design and especially with the original um, designer helping us through the process, you know, I think it came out pretty spectacular. You know, that's kind of the fun in it. I always tell everybody, you know, every single one of them is, is individually different. If you go through this rally, there's so many different uh, brands and there's so many different takes on it, yeah. you know, that people personalize them. They were made in a different year, a different era, a different feel. And that's what's fun about a, vin a vintage trailer. It's just like a vintage car. They have a life to it. And mm -hmm. if you can preserve that life and that history and give that to people to enjoy, then they're stepping into a feeling or a time. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, well, the, the work you guys do, you're certainly uh, setting the bar about as high as it can go. Oh, thank you and very it's, much. It's no, not, it's not unusual, not surprising, I guess. Well, the 24-month part is, but it's not surprising <laughs> yeah. to have the lead time because I know um, your reputation is preceding you. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, well, Justin, hey, thank, thank you for you your so time. Much. I really it. appreciate it. Glad to hear things are going well. Yeah, really good to see you and enjoy the rally. So, you want to learn a little bit more about uh, uh, Flight Camp? Log on to our website, rollingontv.com. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Well, it's been great fun watching the rise in popularity of vintage trailers. For people who don't have the resources or skills or uh, uh, abilities, basically, to restore their own vintage trailer, there are other options available thanks to today's manufacturers, many of whom are coming up with vintage models, brand new trailers that look like vintage models. And one such new model is this good-looking guy, the Vintage Cruiser by Gulfstream. Gulfstream builds several vintage cruiser models in a number of different color schemes. The exteriors are designed to kind of um, harken back to that nostalgia for the old canned ham type trailers. The interior decor is likewise uh, just a little bit different than what you'd find today. Well, more like what you would have found 20 or 30, maybe 40 years ago. And uh, this one is the vintage woody model that has the cool looking woody trim on the side. You may not have a vintage type uh, vehicle to be able to tow this with, but it's going to look pretty good behind an awful lot of today's tow rigs. In camp or on the road, the Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser makes a sharp looking setup. Excellent aerodynamics and generally good weight balance help it tow with no hassles. 
you can enjoy the ride and relax as you drive with this trailer in tow. Overall compact size means it's a cinch to maneuver, for example, when you need to make a U-turn on a fairly tight road. Its modest length also means the Vintage Cruiser can fit in many campsites designed for the smaller RVs. The front of the Vintage Cruiser is built like many of the smaller trailers today. It includes a swoopy front profile which both adds aerodynamics to help reduce your wind drag going through the, uh, down the road and it kind of also echoes the shape of the early canned ham models. Meanwhile down here we have this great aluminum cladding which sort of protects the front end from rock chips and so on and all the usual appointments here on the hitch. Well, there's not a lot of exterior storage in this trailer, but what's here is the right size. Up front, this is an across the trailer, you know, basement style storage with these really cool slam shut paddle latch opening. And it has the, the contemporary magnetic catch. So it's easy to open. The space is good size and it'll handle all of your long items like fishing poles and such or the broom or whatever you need to have to store in this area. When it's time to close it, you don't have to mess around with that uh, little latch up there like a lot of RVs have. And it's done. And this little television mount, which uh, disconnects from the cabinet on the inside, has this little quick release plate on the back. And Gulfstream puts the quick release receptacle part of the plate on the side of the trailer. You just slide it in there. And when you have a television mounted on this, of course, you can just bring it out and Entertain yourself in camp when a fire isn't just quite enough. The Vintage Cruiser is outfitted with all the latest equipment, in spite of being vintage style. Fiberglass body, LED lights throughout, including the running lights and these cool little backup lights. Uh, this aluminum tread metal that's a little bit heavier duty and kind of helps protect the lower part of the body. And for those who really want to be able to be safe when they're backing, there's an additional, uh, this is like an optional uh, bracket for mounting a backup camera, which once you've used a backup camera in another vehicle, boy, you really get uh, kind of spoiled by them. It's not a bad option to have. We'll continue our look at the Vintage Cruiser right after these commercial messages. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollerOnTV.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaChem has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaChem, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaChem, another great product from Thetford. Welcome back to Rollin' On TV. Let's continue our tour of the Gulfstream Vintage Cruiser Trailer, a lightweight with retro appeal. Well, the exterior of the Vintage Cruiser is really a cool looking vehicle. Definitely not yesterday's RV. A few days beyond yesterday, maybe. And what's on the inside is a little bit different too. Let's take a look. Now this is a very popular floor plan in smaller trailers like this because you get a lot of features into a relatively small space. Standard forward queen type bed, side dinette on the curbside, kitchen unit and refrigerator is over there on the street side and then the bathroom covers the back of the rig. The generous sized bathroom includes a big open floor space with retro decor, a large shower stall, and practical storage cabinets. Up here you have a, a terrific, comfortable bed. We slept on it just fine. These handy little overhead lights, which start out with blue, kind of a nightlight effect, so you can climb in and out of the bed without uh, uh, disturbing your partner in the middle of the night. 
and you hit it again and it becomes a reading light. Of course, it's LED, very convenient. The vintage cruiser decor, of course, carries right through with the decor of the rest of the unit. And you have privacy curtain that stretches all the way across to isolate the front of the coach from the back in case you have other, uh, other guests here. Plenty of overhead storage, side storage, and little handy uh, cabinet holders here for your uh, necessities as well. This, you can see by the curve of the roof, this is, the roof is starting to come down here, but uh, I'm 6'6", six, six, and I'm able to fit in here even at the reduced part. In the middle of the unit, there is all kinds of headroom, so it feels really roomy in here, and that's kind of nice in a smaller trailer. The kitchen is small, but it's surprisingly accommodating for a compact trailer like this. It has all your usual features. A couple of really nice plastic sink bowls with this high-rise residential style faucet. A little wobbly, but and details. Uh, plenty of storage space throughout. Overhead, of course. And then underneath, you have space for large items like our handy Coleman coffee maker. Never go camping without it. And you've got your Atwood stove, three burner with spark ignition, which is really handy. That makes it pretty easy to get it started. Greystone microwave oven, which, uh, you know, the, once in a while a microwave isn't bad when we're camping. Normally we heat things up out on the fire, but, you know, the microwave does a trick for morning coffee too. And just immediately behind the kitchen counter, there is a storage cabinet and it has a nice flat surface on top. And this, the surface is immediately adjacent to the refrigerator. That's very handy because when you're either loading things into the refrigerator or taking them out, you got that surface as kind of a staging area of sorts. And directly above that flat surface is the television mount that we already looked at outside. And that mount can be used then to viewing the TV from down here in the, uh, uh, in the dinette. All things considered, including lots of overhead lights, and most of this rig is equipped with LED lights. There are a couple of incandescents, but the LEDs are nice because they don't get very hot at all, and they also don't draw much current. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, that's terrific to save energy on the battery. So all things considered, kind of a nice design, and we really like this uh, uh, knotty pine woodwork as well. It sort of uh, uh, harkens back to the earlier days of, of RV design or home building, for that matter. The dinette, pretty darn comfortable. The uh, upholstered seats here uh, feel really good, and there's plenty of room for a, uh, a full-dimension adult, so to speak. <laughs> And uh, we really like these curtains that sort of harken back to the, uh, the vintage sort of look, as does the, the uh, stitched upholstery, the not exactly tuck and roll, but it, uh, the vinyl looks uh, sort of like what you would expect in an older car of this vintage. The dinette, of course, table drops down to, to, to set up into a nice compact bed for somebody, a couple of kids or a smaller adult. Underneath, there's a little bit of a storage compartment on this side. Lots of storage under that front seat for all kinds of those things that you don't have to get access to every day. And uh, generally speaking, it's a pretty nice arrangement. And there is, of course, a good size window here for you so you can enjoy the view outside when you're parked in a beautiful spot. Need some new replacement rubber trim and seals for your RV? Now celebrating their 60th anniversary, Steel Rubber Products has been the leading choice for discerning hot rod and classic car owners for all their rubber parts needs. And now, Steel Rubber Products is offering the same high quality parts and service to RV owners everywhere. For more information on Steel Rubber Products and to get a free RV catalog, visit rv.steelrubber.com. have a Truma Aquago instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. Join Rolling On TV as we proudly bring you the 2019 RV Business Magazine RV of the Year Award Show. 
Be sure and tune in and see which RVs made a top five list and ultimately which RV wins the coveted RV Business Magazine Award. This year's award show is sponsored by Eric Sell, Reinventing Comfort, Cummins, our energy working for you, LaSalle Bristol, differentiation through service and innovation, and Thetford, going places. The RV of the Year Award Show begins airing the week of January 13th on all our stations and networks. You can also watch the show on YouTube, Vimeo, and on RollingOnTV.com. Today I want to talk about batteries, more specifically deep cycle lead acid batteries used in RV applications. Did you know that properly maintained deep cycle batteries should last for six or more years? Unfortunately, some RV owners replace RV batteries every year or two. Extending battery life is not difficult, it just requires some basic care and maintenance. Today we are going to look at 10 battery tips to help extend the life of your RV lead acid batteries. Let's start right now. Caution. Always keep safety in mind when working around lead acid batteries. When you work around batteries, you need to wear goggles, gloves, and remove any jewelry. Do not smoke or use any open flames around batteries. Routine maintenance and recharging a discharged battery as soon as possible will extend the life of the battery. The leading cause of dead lead acid batteries is sulfation. When a battery is in a low state of charge, small crystals start forming on the plates and if it remains in this condition for an extended period of time without recharging, the battery is ruined. Battery sulfation starts when a battery's state of charge drops below 80% or 12.4 volts. Recharging the battery in a timely manner helps prevent sulfation. Never let a 12 volt battery discharge below 12 volts or a 6 volt battery discharge below 6 volts. That probably sounds funny, but a fully charged 12 volt battery is actually 12.7 volts and a fully charged 6 volt battery is 6.3 volts. When a battery reads 12 volts, it is at or below a 40% state of charge. You can measure the voltage using a digital voltmeter. Measuring the voltage gives you a quick picture of the battery's depth of discharge so you know when the battery needs to be recharged. Set the voltmeter on DC voltage and place the red lead on the positive terminal and the black lead on the negative terminal to read battery voltage. Reducing the battery's depth of discharge increases the life of the battery. For example, a battery discharged to a 60% state of charge every day will last longer than a battery cycled to a 40% state of charge every day. And remember, recharging the battery in a timely manner will prevent sulfation. RVs have parasitic loads that can slowly discharge a battery over time. Some, but not all of these loads, are LP gas leak detectors, the TV antenna power booster, clocks, stereos, and appliance circuit boards. If your RV is equipped with battery disconnect switches, make sure they are in the off position when you are not using the RV or when the RV is in storage. Hot temperatures and overcharging kills batteries. During hot temperatures and during periods of high usage, check water levels in batteries more frequently. Checking the electrolyte level and adding distilled water as required can save your lead acid batteries. When you add water to a battery, use mineral free water. Distilled water is best. Regular tap water can cause calcium sulfation. The majority of RV converter chargers are three stage battery chargers. I personally like to use a battery charger, conditioner, and maintainer like this battery minder product to keep the batteries topped off. Batteries should only be watered after charging the battery unless the plates are exposed prior to charging. If the plates are exposed, add enough water to cover the plates and then charge the battery. After the battery is fully charged, fill each cell to the bottom of the vent well. The lead and plastic used to construct batteries can be recycled. More than 95% of all battery lead is recycled. Make sure and recycle your old batteries. Well there you go, 10 easy tips you can follow to extend the life of your RV batteries. To learn more about using and maintaining your RV, visit www.rveducation101.com. Happy camping!
We hope you enjoyed this week's program. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories from current and past shows, visit our website at rollingontv.com. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. As usual, this has been another fun production. Thank you.